Hey what's going on guys and welcome back to another mod showcase on the channel and this one is the Magical Charms mod. So you've got to check these guys out, they are really fun and add a lot to the game which is cool. So guys if you enjoy this mod showcase be sure to leave a like, leave a comment of what other mod showcases I should do and let's just jump into it. So this mod adds all of these charms into the game like I said and to make any of these charms you've got to first make a normal charm and to make that you need a diamond, you need redstone, you need a gold ingot, iron ingot, and four pure magic, which is gotten from these guys. So if you're mining and you see this, this gives you your pure magic, and you'll need a lot of that if you want to make all these charms. So make sure you pick that up if you see it, and let's have a look at the first charm. So I've got lots of buckets of milk here because all of these charms give you effects, and I don't want them to keep building up until the end. So first one we're going to look at is the wolf charm. So once we right click, it says the spirit of the wolf gives you a speed boost until death. So I can run faster until death. So it's speed infinity until I die, which is really cool. So it makes sense for the wolf one. And to make that, we need bones. So you need a charm in the middle that you've already made with four pure magic. And then you need four more pure magic and bones surrounding. So pretty much everything is made in this order. So you'll need eight pure magic to make any single charm. And then, obviously, any of the items you need as well. So it's very expensive to make these charms, guys. Make sure you choose wisely. You need diamond for every single one of them, which is crazy. Okay. Or, yeah. And uh, let's move on to the villager. Yeah. I'm getting confused here. Okay, so the villager gives you fast mining until death. So that gives you haste, which is pretty cool. So if we wanted to mine, let me get myself a diamond pickaxe and let's do this so I have haste until death it mines really fast as you can see and now you gotta smelt that down to get the pure magic okay let's see we've got the iron golem the iron golem will give us strength until death so if we were to be fighting let's say no not a blaze let's say a zombie we should have our strength boost so as you can see, we're punching twos instead of ones, which is which is cool. So that's a nice one, guys, if you want to make yourself a bit more overpowered. Uh, we got an Enderman charm. So let's use that. That gives you a health boost. So as you can see, I've got the two golden hearts at the uh, top of my normal heart. So I've got the absorption. Um, and to make these, oh, I should show you how to make these, guys. They're fairly straightforward. The iron golem is surrounded in iron, the enderman is surrounded in the um, enderpearls, villager is surrounded in emeralds, so you could probably guess half the time what they're, how they're going to be made. So snow golem, I'm sure it's going to be surrounded in snow, let's have a look. Snowballs, yep, so there we go, that makes the snow golem charm. Now, once you're holding this, you can throw snowballs, that's all it is. It doesn't go away and you have this until you lose it. Which is cool, so unlimited snowballs, and that was handy for fighting blazes. So if you are going to the nether, make sure you get yourself some snowballs, because they will wreck the blazes. Which is really, really helpful, and I'm glad there's this water here. Yeah, so that's the snow golem one. Did I put that out? I've never tried that. No, it should. Okay, next one up, we've got the pig charm. And to make the pig charm, you need to surround it in cooked pork chops. And here we go. Gives you resistance until death, which is pretty handy. There's a lot here, so I'm going to go through them a bit faster. We got the sheep charm. How to make it is any wool around. And that gives you jump boost until death. You see that big jump boost? Let's see if we can go up uh, two blocks. Let's go over. Where's two blocks? Um, let's see if we can do this. Whoop. Yeah, two blocks. Boom. So you can jump two blocks once you've got your uh, your sheep charm. So each one is individually good, but you've got to choose what you want to get wisely because um, you can pile them up and make different different kind of combinations for whatever you want to do. Um, like if you're going into a fight, you want obviously all the the strength, resistance, absorption, all that kind of jazz. All right? We have a zombie charm which is made from rotten flesh all around. And it gives you night vision. So let's make it nighttime, which is really, really cool. 
So there you go, night vision until death. And that actually looks really cool at night time. Right, let's see, we've got a zombie pigman, which is made by surrounding it in gold ingots. And this will give you fire resistance, which makes sense. Ender dragon charm, which is made by using an ender dragon egg, an ender pearl, obsidian, and end stone. So this one is very expensive to make, guys, but it will also allow you to take no fall damage whatsoever, which is really cool. And we've got the cow charm, which is made with two stakes and two leather, and it gives you regeneration, which is nice. I like the little writing that comes up. The cows roaming the plains give you regeneration. That's cool. So we've got the gas charm, which is made with gas tears, and this gives it, uh, makes it morning. Oh wow, I didn't know this one. It just makes it daytime. So that's quite expensive just to do that. Skeleton charm, made with bones and arrows, heal you with their projectiles. So that's a really cool one, guys. Once the skeletons hit you with arrows, you actually get healed, which is pretty sweet. I'm gonna test that one out. Look. Oh my god, where did I get stuck with arrows? Oh my god. Okay. Let's see. Let's spawn. I want to spawn a skeleton. I'm going to have the skeleton charm again and see how it goes. And spawn a skeleton. Here we go. Okay. So let's test this bad boy out. We've got the skeleton charm. And now, he should heal me. It's not healing me. Oh, okay, sorry. Okay, no wonder all the arrows were in me. It just... <laughs> it just heals you on the spot and pops a load of arrows into you. Skeletons won't actually heal you. I misunderstood that one. Wow, that was... That was silly. But yeah, guys, skeletons won't, kill, won't heal you. They will kill you. So be careful. We got the blaze charm. Oh, there's a spider charm there. I haven't looked at either. Uh, we got the blaze charm made with blade, blaze rods. And that gives you fire resistance and speed. So that's much better than just getting the fire resistance, guys. So you've got to choose wisely when you are making these charms. So we got the spider one made with spider eyes. And that gives you the stealth of a spider. What does that actually give you? Invisibility, okay. That's pretty cool. Until death, invisible, full of arrows. Because the skeletons apparently healed me. Um, let's check what's next. We got the mushroom. And then we've got a bat. And then we've got an ocelot. So, let's check this out. we got the mushroom made with steak and mushrooms. Makes sense. And that gives you regen 2. Uh, the bat charm made with stone and obsidian. I wouldn't have got that one. It gives you fast mining and night vision. So, haste 2 and night vision. Which is pretty good, guys. So choose wisely when you're making these. Um, also, we've got the ocelot made with fish. And that gives you speed and jump. So that is pretty sweet. Because I feel like an ocelot roaming the plains right now. Running around really fast and jumping over whatever. Okay, we got the horse, the wither, and the wither boss. Okay, so horse made with leather and hay bales. Gives you speed boost too. Makes sense. We got the wither. Ooh, with a skeleton with uh, two stone swords and two bones. Wonder what this one does. Gives you a reverse wither effect. That is pretty sweet. So it'll just keep healing you. Wither charm is four wither skulls. So that is very expensive to make and it gives you invulnerability for one minute. But that is pretty sweet, but my it's very expensive to make, guys. So use it wisely. Okay, we got the witch, we got the spider jockey, and the squid. So squid is ink sacks. And gives you water breeding, I thought so. So there we go. We can breed underwater without getting hurt, which is pretty sweet. If you have night vision with that, you could just stay underwater. And um, we got the jockey charm, which is spider eyes and bones. So combining the skeleton with the spider, we've been healed are, and are invisible. So that's pretty a sweet one. Which is nether warts, mushrooms, redstone, and a glass bottle. And that will give us speed and a jump boost too. So that's even better, guys. They're getting better. Now, last few that I'm going to show. We've got the slime charm made with slime balls. And it will give you a jump boost. I could have guessed that one. So there you go. we got a silver boost charm made with stone bricks and cracked stone bricks. Or mossy stone bricks. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. 
and it gives you fast mining to break his blocks. Joff, Joff the glitchy silverfish. Um, we also got the endermite charm, which is two ender pearls and two end stone, and that gives you a health boost. So, guys, that is the bulk of it. If you enjoyed this, then be sure to leave a like. There are also um, let's have a quick look. Let's go into game mode. There are also some YouTuber charms. If you want to check them out, they're all down here. So let's take one for example. Let's take a Yogscast charm. See how to make it. Uh, cookies. And I'm a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. High sp mining speed boost, basically. So yeah, guys, that's cool. If you want to check them out, then be sure to download the mod. The link is in the description. If you enjoyed the mod, leave a like and leave a comment of what other mod showcases you would like to see. But that's everything for today. Hope you enjoyed, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.